So my overall artistic practice is really a way for me to kind of fill in the gaps of my particular story as a first generation Egyptian living in the United States, often in the diaspora communities. Among the first generation, there's not an easy narrative to kind of link us to where we come from. And the feeling of home is like an open question, really. The Khayameya Monument is a monument to the her stories of Arab women immigrants and migrants, and also Arab American women from my generation, in combination with female U.S. veterans who are critical of their time in combat. My friend, co-worker, she came to the association and she has this project because she had working with the, with our students like two years ago. And she came to us and said like, I did this project. I wrote a lot of stories of uh, our students. And like, I want as much as people to see it. And then I came up with this idea to have open mic. Because the piece is so centered in women's voices and it's really intended to be a feminist art piece, we really wanted to have the first open mic be a safe space and um, some of them just wouldn't be comfortable sharing their story in front of strangers or in front of male-identified people. So we decided to keep that as a women-only space and it was a really emotional event. We saw that just kind of the floodgates were opened. There were stories that just kind of came out of the depths of people and tonight's event is just a way to launch it to the wider public so we've invited some members from outside of the Arab American Association, people that are just allies in Bay Ridge. When people like start telling their story through the event that we made, this has really impact them to feel like very safe to tell their own stories. There's really small impacts that you feel along the way, and then there's the bigger vision, which is in this case, you know, creating a space for reflection around war and immigration and deeper feelings about why we're here in the U.S. and what we've left behind. So I really think that's the, the key impact and, you know, we build relationships that way when we're able to just talk to each other on that level. And then to the wider public, it's also just giving us voice and space and visibility. I hope people learn from those stories and share their, those stories and like we want to build trust and we want to empower each other, support each other, heal each other when we hear each other. <laughs>